60 children were among the hundreds of people removed from the camp, which was located in a clearing in the Grande Synth region outside Dunkirk. Seven of them had been living on their own and were turned over to a youth association, the prefecture said. Police detained 16 other people, the prefecture said in a statement without elaborating. Aid groups and journalists at the scene were not allowed to enter the clearing during the eight or so hours police were removing people. Claire Millo, a member of the aid group Salam, which has been bringing food to the migrants, said at least 400 migrants were staying in the camp before the clearing operation. Many are Afghans and Iraqi Kurds, but there are also Iranians, Pakistanis, and Sudanese. Milo said by telephone that with no toilets and only four water faucets, conditions in the camp were deplorable. But she predicted that they'll come back. They're living in mud, with some people in situations of extreme fragility, children, elderly, said Eric Etienne, a Dunkirk official. We can't leave them in this situation. Grande Synth Mayor Damien Karim has said the region needed another official shelter to prevent migrants from living in the degrading conditions of the Pithaup camp. But Interior Minister Gerard Collom rejected the opening of a new camp after meeting with Karim in Paris Monday. In a statement, Collom said such a move would feed the hope of getting to Britain, promoted by smugglers who must be fought with utmost firmness. President Emmanuel Macron has said ending the migrant crisis was a priority and that he wants migrants off France's streets and byways by the end of the year. Some 85 Eritrean migrants were evacuated on Monday from a camp in the nearby town of Norint Fontes, under the control of smugglers, a statement by the prefect of the Pati Calais region said. A huge makeshift camp in Calais, some 50 kilometers, 31 miles, west of Dunkirk, was emptied of at least 7,000 migrants in a mass operation in October.